Democrat Socialist, you I pay 50 for 6 percent in tax. You owe me an answer. What Jewish groups do you defend against SJP's you violence? Don't even defend Arabs. You're accusing them of uh, SJP of being violent? Have you seen what they do? They shut down. What do they do? Why aren't you standing up for them? Have you seen them? No, no, tell me. That's why I'm asking. They break into groups whose language and speeches they don't like and they shut it down violent. She was talking about them breaking into an indigenous group's uh, representation convention. And SJP broke in and they started ripping down signs. There was a Kurd who was speaking against uh, pogroms against the Kurds in Iraq and Iran under Islamists, who SJP is, and they walked straight up and they ripped down all of the flags and they shouted them down and they threatened. They have thrown tables. They have disrupted. They disrupted things in uh, Northeastern University back in 2012. And uh, people were beaten for speaking back then. And my son went and joined the IDF because that is SJP is the reason that my son joined the Israeli Defense Forces because he saw that they act out what they say for real. They are terror. They are terror. They're a Muslim Brotherhood organized and funded. Muslim Brotherhood created the Muslim Students Association. This is a branch of the Muslim Students Association. It's pure Islamic ideology. When they say from the river to the sea, Palestine shall be free, that means Jew free. Look, they say it. These are the speakers at their own conference. These are the people here today. Right? So they won't let Milo Yiannopoulos speak, and they won't let Ben Shapiro speak, and they break into Tucker Carl, you know, okay, let's stick to UCLA, right? They won't let any Republicans speak here. They shut down any IDF organizations. They shut down any pro-Israel speech. They break in, they shout it down, they intimidate, they knock chairs over. And so please go look up the video of Indigenous People's Day that they disrupted. They are absolutely violent. They shut down free speech with their violence. And yet look at all the lawyers and police and marshals they have protecting them. They have lawyers here? These are all from the law school. Hey, UCLA law students, what Jewish groups do you defend also? Do you defend Hillel against SJP's violence? No? So just the terrorists, right? What Jewish groups do you defend? Oh, the Jewish groups need their defense? Would you guys defend Ben Shapiro? Students at UCLA are taking off their kippot, they're taking off their Jewish stars. Hillel is starting to have to have events offline. The, the anti-Jewish intimidation by this group and others is extremely high. Uh, UCLA, I think, is one of the top five anti-Semitic universities in the country. City of Los Angeles passed an ordinance asking UCLA to ban this event because city of Los Angeles considers them hate speech, right? So using UCLA's own reasoning, if Milo Yiannopoulos is not allowed because hate speech, Ben Shapiro is not allowed because hate speech. Which is not. Right, it's free speech. It's conservative speech. It's conservative speech. It may make you uncomfortable, but oh my God, this it's not law. calling for violence. This is criminal criminal and UCLA is deeply hypocritical in backing this under the shade of the First Amendment and yet they curtail the First Amendment for Jewish causes, conservative speech, anything that gives a balanced view of the Middle East. Is this, uh, the activities of SJP that you're protesting here at UCLA, is it limited to just what takes place on the UCLA campus? This is their national convention. It's the hate fest of the whole country, right? They do this disruptive organization, they do this organized disrupt, disruptive targeted behavior across the country. There are SJP chapters in virtually every large uh, American university. university and colleges. And so again, this is international Islamic money 
funding this through the Muslim Students Association and CARE and all of this, you can see how organized they are, right? This is international money. This is an international organization working here. They lock the doors, right? People from the Regents Board wanted to come and sit in on the SJP convention, but they wouldn't let them. Why? What have they got to hide? What have they got to hide? If this is not terror, what are they hiding? Wait a minute. The California Regents Board were not the permitted? The UCLA, uh, Sherry Lansing, who sits on the Regents Board, was deeply dismayed uh, when she found that she and others would be unable to attend unless you were a card-carrying SJP member in good standing. So it was a closed door event on taxpayer funded university property. These are our taxes paying this and it's just, it's obscene. These people are rubbing our noses in it. Why isn't it at some hotel downtown on their own dime? Well, aren't they a college group? I mean, they're, they're part of the uh, academic world. The city of Los Angeles passed an ordinance denouncing it as a hate group. Congressman Sherman denounced them as a hate group and asked UCLA to not let it go, to not let this event take place. UCLA has used the label of hate speech to ban other events, again, like Milo, like Ben Shapiro. So UCLA is being very two-faced and hypocritical in using the shield of free speech to allow this terror advocacy to go on and yet use that same free speech as a scalpel to cut away any language that they don't like. Uh -huh. Do they represent a part of the new, the neo-democrat uh, socialist uh, arm? I am horrified and up, up, appalled and just without any explanation on how the left is sucking up and, and you know, swabbing tongues with the Islamists. I just, I just can't understand it. Like Linda Sarsour, Louis Farrakhan, and Obama, and Maxine Waters, and Eric Holder, and it's just this arm-in-arm -arm kumbaya with deadly Islamism. I just don't get it. I think I, I you know, I'm a walk away. I was a liberal. I voted for Obama twice. Not this time. I don't know what the hell is happening in the Democratic left. I don't understand. It frightens me to death. Now I understand how the Holocaust could happen. I studied history. I've got a history major. Literally, I've been studying everything that led up to the Holocaust because it was such a debilitating thing and, and without precedent in human history. Uh -huh. Do you see any parallels to using anti-Semitism as a means towards power? Completely, completely. And, and they, you can even see it in their terminology. Kill all Zionists. Oh, see, they're even using new terms for the oldest hatred. This is pure Islam. It's not radical Islam, it's fundamental Islam. That's why we were chanting at them earlier, gays rights in Gaza, gays rights in Gaza. Kill all gays, kill all unbelievers, kill all Jews for sure. You're saying that's their philosophy? They are an Islamist group, that is Islam. From, yeah, absolutely, from the river to the sea, Palestine shall be free, that means free of Jews, i.e. wipe out Israel. Read the Hamas Charter, right? It is based on the ISIS Charter, the Hamas Charter, the, Palis the uh, Palestinian uh, Authority Charter, all is based on an Islamic doctrine. So is ISIS, and they all use the same terms, right? This is an Islamic nation formed under the law of Allah, and all shall be written onto the basis of the Quran. Yeah. High, you know, kill Jews where you find them. The rocks and stones them shall, sh themselves shall call out, here is a Jew hiding behind me, come kill him, right? That is, is who that, Is that their end times prophecy? No, it's the caliphate prophecy. That's what the Quran is, to establish a one world caliphate, the Ummah, right? Mm -hmm. ISIS just believes in no borders. Right? Palestine believes in borders, Saudi Arabia believes in borders, Iran believes in borders. But if you look at Islam, it is all about the united Islamic world. Kill all infidels, but specifically Jews. Yeah, but uh, 
don't Christians try to win souls around the world for Christianity? How is this different? They're not beheading, they're not putting them in cages, they're not throwing them off buildings, they're not keeping them out of power, they're not putting them in jails, they're not slotting them, they're not sending kite bombs, they're not burning half of Israel's woodland, right? And and I am so disgusted and and despicable is what I think of, of, of that easy trope. Well, Christians do this. Hey, you know, excuse me, bleep me, fuck that. Christianity went through a reform. These people